Good afternoon, London of News, Melbourne. Today is the 5th of February, 2021. Well, it's not often that I have praise for politicians. In fact, I never do. I have nothing but contempt for about 91 or 2% of them because it could be seen on reasonable grounds they're all contemptuous and guilty of suppression of treason, if not treason itself. And that's fact. Now, Craig Kelly is one man who stood up among many and publicly had a go about the truth. And the truth, as we all know, is very painful, especially in today's climate. It's something you must never have anything to do with. Otherwise, you will be shot down by all, all in kind and very unkind as well. So anyway, I've got a clip here from Alan Jones. Alan Jones is one of the great men, in my opinion. Fox News with Tucker Carson and Sean Hennessy and Ingram about the only ones that tell the truth as well. But here in, in Australia, Alan Jones, he hits it spot on. He stings them and, you know, he's taking a big chance. Well, this uh, Tanya Plebicek, she was the leader of the Labour Party on and off, and she worked with Gillard and Rudd, which again could be seen on reasonable grounds were, were criminals, absolute criminals, and what they've done to the, the Australian people. It goes back Gough Whitlam, which got, tried to get rid of the Queen, plus a few other things, and he got sprung and sacked by the last Governor General. And then Hawk came in and sneakily conned the British Parliament into believing that we had a referendum here in six states, well, there's only five really, that we had a referendum that said everybody here wanted to get rid of Queen Elizabeth II, that, that's in 1 1 and our heirs and successors. And he succeeded. So we've been in Republic since 1986. Hence, the Republic still got a queen as far as these bodgy Labour Party. And of course, the Liberals now have become socialist, left wing weirdos. Unless we stand up and do something, but you know, everybody's obeying them at the moment. And you can see that they're all wearing face coverings that says, I'm a supporter of stupidity. With this plebiscite, have a look at this politician, Craig. Kelly, of his Irish, I had a go at her and the truth must have been so painful. She goes, oh, no, no, no. You can see the reaction of them. Like my friend calls these people the normies. They they do not, the truth. Oh, no, it doesn't matter if you, if you win. If you, if you pay them to listen to the truth now. She had to go back and I'll run it down in a few minutes. Have a look at it. Thanks, Alan Jones, for this interview. It's brilliant. And uh, have a look. And here we go. Well, good evening now. Thank you for being with us. But look, don't we live in a world seemingly dominated by politicians who show little evidence that they know what they're talking about? In fact, you can't escape the conclusion that without bureaucracy feeding them ideas and what to say, they wouldn't know where they were. Let's get straight into it tonight. I'll be looking at this vaccine issue next week, but just briefly tonight, there was an encounter, as you've heard, in the corridors of Parliament House this morning between the Liberal member for Hughes, Craig Kelly, and the Labor member for Sydney, Tanya Plibersek. Here is some of it. Did you hear about Professor Clancy? You've got to listen to our, oh, oh, most, oh, oh, se our most senior, our most senior immunologist, Tanya. This Professor Robert Clancy. Yeah. Listen to him. Go and get his stuff. Read what he's saying, and you'll find out. And then you can come and apologise to us. Uh, it's okay. My, my, my mum so, lives in your electorate, and I don't okay. want her exposed to people. Well, that's okay. I'm not well, going to be well, listen, vaccinated listen to Robert. because of these crazy conspiracy well, theories Daniel, that you're spreading. Well, you're the one doing that because you are the one spreading this information. Well, they both met after Tanya Plibersek had given an interview on Breakfast TV. Craig Kelly was heading towards another television office for his own TV interview. He detoured and confronted Tanya Plibersek, asking with a wry smile, are you making any big announcements? She had just said in an interview minutes earlier, quote, we're spending $24 million on a campaign to tell people to get vaccinated, and we've got a taxpayer-funded NONG running around telling people not to. Well, cameras appeared everywhere and Craig Kelly arrived. Tanya Plibersek had just said on television, he needs to shut up. And then the mini confrontation emerged where she accused Craig Kelly of conspiracy theories. Now, the so-called conspiracy theory is Craig Kelly's persistence that hydroxychloroquine can be used along with ivermectin as a treatment for coronavirus. In the segment you saw, Craig Kelly referred to the Australian immunologist, Emeritus Professor Robert Clancy from the University of Newcastle, who is on the record as saying that Craig Kelly was, quote, absolutely right, unquote, 
on hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin. The professor's words exactly quote, early treatment is highly effective. Vaccines are critically important. They should not be seen as mutually exclusive. You need them both, unquote. Professor Clancy said the evidence showed hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin were safe and should be used. But here's the rub. The Commonwealth Chief Medical Officer Paul Kelly said last month in attacking Craig Kelly that there was, quote, no evidence to show hydroxychloroquine or ivermectin should be rolled out to Australians, unquote. You see, this is the problem. The Prime Minister and a would-be leader of the Labor Party, Tanya Plibersek, are saying that she wants her mother to listen to the Chief Medical Officer. But when the government says, quote, listen to the science, unquote, what they don't tell us is they're selective about the scientists to whom they listen. The Prime Minister was at this again today in question time. A principle that I have applied to the chairing both of the Federal Cabinet, the National Security Committee of Cabinet and the National Cabinet, Mr Speaker, has been respect for the expert advice, the expert medical advice. Yeah, funny, isn't it? We never see that advice. And contrary advice is ignored. It's the same with the vaccine. Craig Kelly is on the record as saying that he's not anti-vaccine. But the point he's made is indisputable. Many are hesitant about being vaccinated. Craig Kelly has said this, and I quote, the way you're going to get over the hesitancy is through full transparency, full debate, no censorship. And that's the guts of it. Whether it's climate change, Donald Trump, coronavirus, hydroxychloroquine or the vaccine, there is censorship. There is not full transparency and there's no debate unless you're prepared to get in line with the government health advice orthodoxy on these issues. And if some scientists are funded by the government, won't they say what the government wants to hear? Tanya Plipersek is not alone in showing an unwillingness to respond properly to the questions that thousands of Australians are asking about why we did not use hydroxychloroquine as a treatment for COVID-19 and the question marks surrounding the vaccine. I repeat, Craig Kelly is no anti-vaxxer. I am no anti-vaxxer. But what Craig Kelly is saying is there must be questions answered and greater transparency. I repeat, politicians and government all tell us, listen to the science, but what they don't tell us is they're selective about the scientists to whom they listen. And I repeat, if some scientists are funded by government, won't they say what government wants to hear? Craig Kelly is right. The only way you're going to get over hesitancy, which is shared by many in the public, is through full transparency, full debate and no censorship. And so far, we've had none of all three. That ought to be a concern to us all. The bigger concern, of course, is it's now almost unlawful to have an alternative view. What are your thoughts, Alan, at skynews.com.au? The text line is 0414 00848. It's Wednesday, February 3. Anyway, thanks for watching this. I hope I got the message through. Craig Kelly needs support. He's been attacked by left, right and centre from these criminal politicians. And uh, they'll, they'll try to put him down somehow. But this other character, Plebacek, she's been promoting herself on Facebook as a goody two-shoes. And may God, mate. The day will come, perhaps, when the common law court catches up with these people. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Bye for now.